Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Hitman versus Focus. This game taking place here on a Tide Hunters version 1.2. Alright, Focus has spawned as the orange orc player on the top left hand side of the map and well, just getting things underway. Meanwhile, his opponent Hitman spawning under the name Pot Holders, spawning as the red orc and seemingly building a very similar opening build. All right, it looks as though barracks are going down. Still do not see... Well, there's Warmail, so it looks like Blademaster Grunts going up against Farseer Headhunters. And it is Blademaster going up against Farseer as, well, this early Warmail did indicate. Let's go ahead and slow things down at the two-minute mark as both sides should be starting their creeping and then perhaps trying to get to Tier 2. Farseer already out and about. Blademaster, same thing, going after this sea giant creep camp. Going to try and pull aggro a little bit away. Grunt going to come in there and purposely pull in from the side as well. Blademaster wants to absorb all of the damage and therefore only have to use one healing salve charge overall. All right, Blademaster continuing to engage there. Forest Troll Berserker about to get taken down. And, well, Blademaster doing a great job picking up Claws of Attack plus 5 and will we'll be getting to level 2 shortly. Coming back around, the Voodoo Lounge is nearly done, so he some healing will be underway. Meanwhile, Focus is venturing out without a healing salve or any sort of clarity potion or any items. So he has to be careful about the amount of damage that Farseer takes. Blademaster is going to be coming across here and looking to perhaps put in some damage here. Where is that giant sea turtle? Giant sea turtle is taking a little bit of damage. Blademaster gets up to level 2, picks up the Cloak of Shadows, and still has that healing salve ready to go. All right, trying to exchange a little bit of blows. Farseer now being forced to retreat back. Does have Mantle of Intelligence plus 3 for a little bit of extra damage, but that's not going to be enough to overcome that Blademaster's blade and big damage damage there all right farseer may try and do a little bit of chasing against that grunt but i suspect only i'm um, trying to get all of the free damage off without having to invest too much time all right coming back through blade master using that well wind walk just in time to deal uh, well dodge that auto attack oh however only to see the farseer by the dust of appearance and use it in time so that the blade master's healing salve charge came to an end talk about split second plays right there and, and that was just early in the game. Not not that critical, but it made, well, focus made that look so second nature. Back off to the north here. Farseer continuing to engage here. Murlocs will get taken down. Focus will get to level two off of this creep camp here. And, well, now has access most likely to chain lightning, but probably won't use it anytime soon. Blademaster going to go after the giants or the last sea turtle here. As the Blademaster does have dual claws of attack plus five, has a scroll of speed and a healing salve, still needs well room for an additional item um, item spot for well whatever drops off here. We should be looking at a Shadow Hunter getting trained up here by Hitman here in just a moment. Meanwhile, most likely a Torin Chieftain coming in from Focus, and the follow up question is going to be well not. No follow-up question here. Farseer trying to engage against the Blademaster. Blademaster actually relatively low on hit points. Does have a potion of greater healing. Should be able to fight back against all of these headhunters. That scroll of speed is incredibly important. As that scroll of speed allows for allows for the units to get, get an engagement there. There's a chain landing across a single grunt there early on. Trying to rack up a little bit more damage. Blademaster trying to get some damage onto some of those other units. Are we going to see another... Well... Windwalk strike followed by the headhunter. Now Blademaster seeing that level 3 could go after these peons here. But there are a wall of peons ready um, here as the Blademaster now comes back around. And may get, perhaps try to get up off a Breath of Fire. Potion of Greater Healing should be used on the Blademaster. There it goes. And now still fighting away. There's a Breath of Fire there as the Blademaster or the Brewmaster tries to oh, rack up a little bit more damage. All right. No Shadow Hunter as originally expected. Instead going for a Panda. A hitman is already forcing a retreat across all of these peons. Not quite sure what to make of this here as the Blademaster does have level 2 critical strike and is racking up quite a bit of damage. 98 damage critical strikes already at this point and stage in the game. Dust of Appearance Blademaster down to 128 hit points. Could end up taking a spear in the back and a lightning orb attack. No, well, lightning ball attack, not really lightning orb. Um, details matter as the Blademaster retreats back home and is healing up nicely. All right, coming back through, Brewmaster has no real experience on the board as of yet. Going to try and clear up this orange creep camp here, perhaps set up an expansion or at least have the option to do so. Shadow Hunter coming out from focus as we are going to tier three and setting up a bestiary 
for those raiders would ensnare most likely coming back down to the south side here a giant sea turtle of uh, well trying to go after those units a quick hex going down onto the blade master blade master could have some serious trouble trying to go after some of those units blade master doesn't have any real survivability items can instead try and go after the headhunter and that blade master playing a very dangerous game indeed able to get off one final strike on that headhunter plus 14 damage on that blade master 70 damage critical strike as the units are retreating back so farseer sitting at level three shadow hunter sitting at level one we are getting up a bestiary it looks as though hitman is staying at tier two and the panda is gaining up a little bit of experience creeping away from the blade master's harassment all right meanwhile we're looking at the shadow hunter looking to try and get some experience on the board after using a couple of hexes to deal with well an invasive blade master who was trying to take down all of these headhunters before they could properly upgrade until that stronghold upgrades to a fortress and unlocks that berserker upgrade the headhunters just seem to melt rather quickly if the blade master gets to level five or even level four before the um the headhunter upgrade or the berserker upgrade is completed well the blade master seems to be able to slice and dice through those units far too quickly coming back down to the here south here farseer looking to put pressure on the bestiary before it is completed it's going to suffer qu quite a bit of damage before it's even done perhaps even get canceled no it needs to get repaired and well that was just a building to absorb damage apparently as no repairs were done raiders now coming back across here uh, we're looking at some damage coming coming here as well fortified armor not completed for the burrow as all of the head hunters are still dealing and the farseer and shadow hunter are still dealing full damage blade master trying to go after the head hunters here and focus is just running into the base here causing a bit of problems you can see well we are currently supply blocked by hitman and he has lost significant um significant excuse me um, significant uh, buildings losing that bestiary and also losing a, an orc burrow not able to train up any units for quite some time as he is still supply blocked all right blade master looking for perhaps some easy targets as focus goes in for a third and final hero already playing playing this game almost like an undead i'm trying to go to well tier three really really quickly and how is this all going to work out shadow hunt or well shamans are trying to retreat all the way back purge going down across a lot of those spirit wolves as the blade master and the brew master trying to rack up damage here are we going to see some healing spray alchemist well alchemist with that healing spray perhaps or acid bomb healing spray um very useful to try and overcome the difficulties that many orc players have when trying to um, heal up there's a blade well no blade master nearby farseer using that dust of appearance to keep track of that blade master and all he really knows is the blade master is not there all right trying to well there's the blade master oh beautiful taunt to try and get that um blade master to to come up onto the high ground it looked absolutely perfect what 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 hitman or what focus was trying to do he was purposely looking like he was going to engage against the rock golem creep camp but purposely never got actually within combat range by then using the dust of appearance at just the right moment are we going to see a goblin zeppelin nope shadow hunter could get taken down are we going to see the oh my gosh the the brewmaster could get taken down all right no brewmaster is going to be fine here are we going to continue to fight our way through and goblin sappers finish off the brewmaster but i don't know if experience was or who hired the goblin sappers if it was collateral damage or not i don't know if i've seen an exclamation point in this mark all right farsi are trying to retreat away down to 104 hit points purge going down alchemist getting hit by a boulder here as the, and getting purged down as well both sides getting absolutely absolutely wrecked and destroyed but the farseer is the only hero out on the board so any units that are lost are don't actually give experience back Toto Beast trying to retreat back here. Grunts are coming back over to engage um, the red units here. Panda now getting resurrected, trying to rejoin in on the battle. Farseer still trying to retreat back as well. Alchemist, well, Shadow Hunter already back out here onto the battlefield. Perhaps Healing Wave is going to be necessary as well, but the Shadow Hunter still sitting at level one. More Hex could be coming back across. Are we going to be looking at a Hex going down onto that code or onto that? Brewmaster, all uh, right. Yes, there's the hex onto the Brewmaster. Kodo Beast gets taken down. There's a purge onto the Brewmaster to try and get him free as healing salves are healing up that Farseer once more. All right, more, um, well, more and more damage racking up onto that Brewmaster. Brewmaster may need to buy a Scroll of Town Portal in order to get out. A couple of other units may get taken down as well. There goes a Shaman, a Grunt. Well, we'll be able to make it out in time. 
some crazy, crazy micro situations. Um, Hitman, as I've seen him, he, he pretty much pl plays very, very much full throttle. He's always engaging. He's always, um, he's always just almost playing with full aggression and always attempting to um, well, always attempting to do something with his blade master or his heroes and um, oftentimes against unskilled players he's able to just overrun his opponents taking those risky maneuvers but against seasoned veterans who've seen so many tricks such as focus well you you saw how the blade master and that brew master did both get taken down with that said though this is still pretty much an even game as the Fars here continuing these engagements here, trying to take down the Shaman. Are we going to see a Chain Lightning? No, we are not. Damage still racking up. Blade Master finishing off that Spirit Wolf who was attempting to take down that Shaman there. All right, still damage still racking back up. There goes and then Snare after a Hex. Brewmaster could have a very, very bad day. Going to get Hex one more. Chain Lightning level two now on the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter could attempt to get up to. Uh, well, Healing Wave and then Healing Wave this fight back around. But no, Farseer gets taken down again. All right. In the end, Hitman, um, Hitman beating Focus in, um, in that exchange as Focus was trying too hard to focus down onto um, the Brewmaster. Blademaster got to level 4. Blademaster able to take down the Farseer even though the Shadow Hunter had gotten to level 2 and had access to Healing Wave but didn't come back to try and support the Farseer. It seemed like Focus lost control of his units temporarily there and and while well, trying to move back the farseer ended up running into the blade master and that might have been well um the problem there and um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it